Hello everybody and welcome to my dictation dictation uh, dissection of the PS5 Future Gaming Show. Uh, this aired well this was live on YouTube last night at 9 pm BST where I was at. So sorry if you hear microphone noise, I'm just moving my mic down. Um I'm just gonna be going over key parts in the show and then I'm going to be talking about the design for it. So the first key part I would like to go over is this part that's about the play. So I just skipped over the whole like PlayStation bit talking about PlayStation. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the ah, I don't know, that thing. That magic. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yitch every day. My job, my score, get your own! We should talk about work. We out here gang banging like it's 91. We all love thanks. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. Cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. So now what? Okay, I'm just gonna stop it there. So. If you haven't seen the PS5 event yesterday, or I guess you prefer Xbox, you're probably a bit confused as to why they showed a Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer. Because Grand Theft Auto 5 is being ported onto the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, but that's not important. And as part of Sony's partnership with Rockstar Games, which is the people that make Grand Theft Auto 5, PS Plus members on PS4 get 1 million GTA dollars every month for the time until GTA. 5 comes out on PS on PS5 plus there'll be a standalone online edition so you don't get the story mode you just get online which will be free for PS5 users for the first three months of its release expanded and enhanced this also means that the PS4 version will be coming to an end um, sometime in the next year but more on that in mindfulness tomorrow coming 2021 to PlayStation 5. Okay, I'm just going to skip forward a bit more to talk about the next game. Uh, there's a new Spider-Man game coming, but I'm not talking about that. This is new next game is Gran Turismo 7. I'm not going to show you any gameplay footage, because I'm trying to keep this video short-ish. But yeah, next game is Grand Theft Auto 7, which doesn't feature a campaign mode, does feature a campaign mode, which people are really excited about. Um, but however, that's, this is just gameplay recorded on the PS5. This is the next game I want to show. That's not listening! The dimensions are weakening considerably. It is certainly not good. Great! Where are we? It's me. Ratchet, we are too late. Ratchet? Who? 
Okay, uh, I'll just show you a snippet of the Ratchet and Clank trailer, which is Rift Apart. It is a new Ratchet and Clank trailer that I'm really excited for, because there hasn't, hasn't been a new Ratchet and Clank game since the PS3. The last Ratchet and Clank game to come out was just a remaster of the original game on the PS4 in 2016. But there hasn't been a new Ratchet and Clank game since the PS3. So I'm really excited. Also, if this woman is that you're seeing on the screen is a Lombax, it's kind of confusing because apparently, um, if you in Cracking Time, Ratchet was the only Lombax left other than Alistair, but Alistair died or something. Or nothing. But you know. So yeah, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, that's the next game I'm talking about. Um, so as there weren't that many other good games that were announced, it was like a new Hitman game. Uh, it was like a new Hitman game. Some... Uh, there's a game by the people that made Octodad, actually, uh, that I'm quite excited for. But, however, this is not the main event. I'm just showing you, I just showed you a couple of the games. Um, what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to skip forwards in time. Quite a lot forwards, actually. Future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier, Matt. Okay. Incredibly exciting. Here? Okay, so there's some balls. There we have it, PS5. Uh, this is what the PS5 looks like, this is the official PS5. Uh, I personally think it looks, or I say I personally, to be honest, a lot of people think this, it looks like a Wi-Fi router. Um, but yeah, I think they took... Obviously, if you look on the bottom left there, like, here, you can see the DualSense, which is a new controller. Uh, it looks a bit like a DualShock 4, except for it's like more rounded, like I'm looking at my DualShock 4 now, and uh, my one... It looks it looks similar to it with like it has two buttons where the option share or it has a touchpad, but it does better with like a light bar going down the sides. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks simple, like other PlayStation controllers. But however, the con the console is not the only thing I would like to show you here. because if we continue watching this. a console reveal. Uh, they did. They revealed some other stuff as well. PlayStation Five. Actually, I'm looking at it now. It reminds me of a Wii. It might be because of the way it stands upright. Uh, it just reminds me of a Wii for some reason. This is why PS. This is why PlayStation are winning the console awards. Because what they have, they've released on my left hand, on the left hand side, as you can see, there is a disc drive. The right hand side, there is not. They have the PlayStation 5, but then they also have released, or they are going to be releasing the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition, which is which is a PlayStation 5 without a disc drive, meaning that it's digital. This is a few, this is possibly the future of gaming. Microsoft should have got on this. They did not get on this. PlayStation is f by far the superior console, according to my view and thing on the screen at the moment. Dual 
sense why I love control. I love it, by the way. Also, HD camera. I like the PlayStation camera, but it looks a lot cooler than the PlayStation camera. Pulse 3D wireless headset. Uh, it looks a bit like the PS Gold headset that I'm wearing now. Apart from, I like the way they've coated all these things in like this white thing. And media remote. This is PlayStation 5. This is the feature of gaming. This is also the one that's going to have exclusive GTA 5 stuff. Okay, my thoughts on the PlayStation 5, other than the fact it looks like a Wi-Fi router, it does look like a Wi-Fi router, and I'm not going to say anything, well, I mean, I'm not going to give my opinions on that, but you know. Uh, it it looks beautiful compared to the Xbox Series X, which looks like a gaming PC or a fridge. It could also look like a table or loads of other things. But, you know. Um, yeah, my thoughts on it is, other than it being a beautiful console design, they haven't released a price. There's actually a rumour Sony are waiting for Microsoft to release the price of the Xbox before they release their price so they can make it competitive to the Xbox. It would make sense if the Xbox price was like, say, £400 and Sony released this at 650 Which, by the way, would be a completely fair price for this piece of kit. It is sexy. I just called the PlayStation 5 sexy, but shut up. But yeah, uh, it, anyway, um, I don't have that much more to say, so thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoy my upload schedule. This is the second time I've uploaded this week because reaction segment didn't work, but we're going to talk about that. And yeah, as per usual, I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.